Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm Jess Warren, co-creator of Boone, and I'll be walking you through how to play the game. First, know that the game can take anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour to play. Second, know that it's a team game. Teams change each round and they add a cool element of strategy. There are 32 gameplay cards that come in four suits, which are denoted by their color. Red, blue, green, and gold. The red, blue, and green suits each have six cards, ranked one through six. The gold suit has 14 cards, ranked one through 14. The gold suit is special. It is a trump suit, which means it is more powerful in winning a trick. The rank is in the upper left-hand corner of each card. The card's point value is in the center. A card with zero points is blank in the center. Before you play, separate the victory cards from the gameplay cards. Deal out five victory cards to each person. Note that this is only done once at the beginning of the game. Then deal out the remaining gameplay cards. With four players, deal out seven cards per person and put four cards face down into a separate pile. This pile is called the boon. With three players, first remove the green one and red one from the deck. Then deal nine cards per person and put three cards face down into the boon pile. So here's your objective. Be the person with the most victory cards at the end of the game. The game ends when one of your buddies runs out of victory cards. You get victory cards by winning tricks and rounds. Now that you know your goal, let's talk about the basics of how to play a trick. A trick is basically a series of turns when each player goes once. The goal of the trick is to win the most points possible for your team, at least 61 out of the total 120 points. The card rank is in the corner and the point values are in the center of the cards. The player to the left of the dealer goes first. They can put down any card from their hand. The color of the card they put down is called the leading suit. In this case, the leading suit is blue. Going clockwise, the next person plays a card. If they have a card of the same color as the leading suit, they must put it down. If a player does not have a card of the same color of the leading suit, they can put down any card in their hand. The winner of a trick is usually the person who put down the highest ranked card of the leading suit, which in this case would be blue. That is, unless there is a gold trump card present. Then the winner is the highest trump card. So in this case, the gold trump card wins. If the gold trump card was not played here, then the blue six would have won. When you win, you take all the cards from the trick and put them into a personal pile face down. Keep that off to the side. This is your points pile. Keep it safe until the end of the round as the points in that pile will count toward your total score. Again, you want to win the most points possible. Then the person who won the trick starts the next trick. Keep playing tricks like this until everyone runs out of cards in their hand. That completes a round. Now that you know the basics of how to play, let's talk about the boon. So what the heck is the boon? The boon is that separate pile of cards you dealt out in the beginning of the round. When you're starting a round, the person to the left of the dealer has the option to take the boon and use its cards or not. The person to the left of the dealer gets to choose first, then the opportunity goes clockwise. If you take the boon, you get to put its cards into your hand. Then pick and choose which cards you want to keep in your hand. Take four cards, remove them, and put them face down into a personal pile of points. Or this is three cards if you're playing with three players. Save this pile for later. These points will count toward your total score at the end of the round. As I mentioned earlier, you want as many points as possible. Sounds cool, right? The boon gives you an advantage because you are getting to create your best hand possible. Plus, you get a head start on gathering points. Now here's the twist. If you take the boon, you become a solo player on a team of one. Your points only count for yourself. Everyone else is on a team against you, working together. 
At the end of the round, all of their points go together for one total team score. A good rule of thumb is to only take the boon if more than half of your hand is made up of trump cards. Now what happens if no one takes the boon? The game goes into what's called leaster mode, but we'll get to that later. Remember how to play a trick? Now is when you start playing trick after trick until all of your cards run out. Then it's time to count your score. The defensive team gathers all of their points and adds them together. The solo player does the same. He or she also adds the points from their personal pile they made when they took the boon at the start of the round. Then it's time to exchange victory cards. If the solo player has less than 30 points, he gives each defensive player two victory cards. Careful, this could end the game. If the solo player has 30 to 60 points, he gives each defensive player one victory card. If the solo player has 61 to 90 points, he gets one victory card from each defensive player. If the solo player has 91 to 120 points, he gets two victory cards from each defensive player. That's a great way to win the game. In our scenario, the solo player just scored big. Player 3 is out of victory cards, so now the game is over. At this time, player 2 has the most victory cards, so she wins the game. Remember when I mentioned leaster mode? You go into this mode when everyone passes on taking the boon. Here's how to play. First, set the boon aside entirely. You're not going to be using it in leaster mode. Now it's everyone for themselves. Rather than getting the most points possible, you want to get the fewest points possible. You have to win at least one trick or else you're disqualified from winning the round. The person who has the fewest points at the end of the round, but who has still won a trick, wins. At the end of the round, the winner receives one victory card from each other player. 